Hey, welcome back to Josh's Auto. Today we have a 2004 Dodge Ram 1500. He was having some squeaking whenever he was turning. After looking it over, doing some diagnosing, realized he has original factory ball joints on this thing that the lift has put a little bit of extra stress on and just wore out the ball joints. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this upper control arm and the lower ball joint on both sides. I'm going to go over that process with you. As you see, this thing is in fact two-wheel drive on it. It's got a big old lift on it. Probably about six inches worth of lift, but we're gonna go ahead and take the upper control arm out. We got a couple bolts back here, and then our single nut that holds the ball joint onto this portion here, which is the spindle. So, and then down here, we'll have to go ahead and take this one out so we can remove the spindle, pull it out, and go ahead and get the ball joint out. We'll go ahead and get started on that process. Something that makes doing this job easier is you can take the caliper and this whole bracket off in one piece. Go to the back side here, take the couple bolts loose on the caliper hanger bracket, go ahead and pull it back, secure it up, and then we'll go ahead and take the rotor off the front and that'll just make it a little bit lighter so and we can go ahead and leave the tie rod end on here just pull this over to the side and use a, a little tool over there to try and hold it up with the frame here try not to put too much tension on the steering and everything tied up both our upper control arm and our lower ball joint is exposed here to where we can get to it. the next step on this is you're going to need a press to remove to remove the lower ball joint i've got mine set up here a little lip you have to watch out for you have to be to the outside of the lip uh, it gives this this tool enough room to press it down so I've already got my sizes picked out that I needed and got it opened up so that the ball joint can press down and come through this opening down here. I'm going to run this down until it pulls up tight on the top of the ball joint. Just like that. Socket here. Nope. Wrong socket. Hang on, let me get the right socket. This tool does recommend not using an impact on it. I'm going to go ahead and use the impact on it anyway. whenever we get to put them in always put them in the freezer whenever 
metal gets cold, it contracts, just like whenever it gets hot, it expands. So whenever you stick a ball joint in the freezer before you go to install one, you can let it sit in there about 20-30 minutes, just enough to make it cool. It'll pull in just enough to make the reinstallation just a little bit easier. So, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the upper control arm. I'm going to unbolt it and get the new one and bolt it back in. control arm on here so I'm gonna take this nut off and take this little protective cap off if you saw I compared compared the two to make the sh sure the uh, shape of them was correct a lot of vehicles they use two different shaped control arms one for the driver's side one for the passenger side this one happens to use two that look identical so the other thing about this one is there's a slotted groove that the bolt goes in here. If you can see at one point when it had an alignment, the bolts and the control arm were pulled all the way forward in this groove. Well, me taking it apart, the current setup was actually pushed farther back. You can actually see where the, uh, where the bolt head here and the nut rested in it. So, try and avoid alignment issues I'm actually going to go ahead and push this all the way back and try and line my hardware back exactly where I took it loose from Secure. And then on the bottom, it also had a cotter pin to go through the actual threaded portion to make sure this nut can't back off. Whereas this upper ball joint has a nylon lock nut on it, so it doesn't back off as well. Now that I've got it all back on there, I'll hook up my grease gun, put a couple pumps of grease in here. So, the ball joints do come pretty greased, but I always like to add just a little bit more to them. Just to make sure there was enough in them from the factory. Alright, we have a couple pumps in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the brakes back together and put this wheel in. And this job is done. video was helpful helped you learn how to do the ball joints on your own truck I appreciate it if you click the like and subscribe y'all have a good day thank you